Reach level 1000. In two minutes. There's another 50 eggs. 50 eggs of pure power. Yep, there's a... Oh, that's a Rochi. Yeah, he isn't gonna stand a chance. Thanks for messing around and some more Vampire Survivors. Operation Guns reaches its conclusion with Bill Riser on Mount Moonspell. Third wave of the Vampire Survivors Beswick. Let's fail utterly because there's nothing but failure in this world. Success is an, evolu is an illusion. Oh, right, no Arcana because it took it off inverse because I lost too much. Hey, guns, those exist. Yeah, I'm just sort of sick and tired at this point of looking at this nonsense. Constant bad luck. Overly bullet spongy enemies. Endless failure on the channel. A terrible voice, no success in life, you know, as it is. But if, if there's one thing life has taught me, it's that never try. There's nothing but failure awaiting you. But I'm going to keep on going on anyway. All oh, right, damage numbers. Hey, rapid fire. That accomplishes very little. Huh, random event wave. Of plants. Jerkin have given me anything actually helpful, huh? Seriously. Across multiple limit break rounds reaching 28, reaching 26, 27, and 28, I got two limit break level ups for millionaire with amount you know the most important stat for millionaire not even in the same round too that had happened i probably would have won on inverse but no now i have to switch it off just because well you know put the damage required to win need bracer to evolve can't get Spinach, because I want to his box. I wanted the original plan was to maximize speed. You know, he yeah, asked so in the Dark Knight, he gets a speed boost with kills. Nope, that didn't work out. For many tries, I settled on just hard of firing the start because it was the most valuable option, most killing option. So here we are with speed, long gone. And getting Taronis box up. No, it's not even to eight yet. Right. Well, we're in an easier wave. Let's head on over to get that clover so we can get some critting damage for the flash arrow ahead of time. Or some critting increase. Takes 42.5 crits in order to max it out. Max out that crit chance, and that crit chance it's pretty dang useful. Alright, taking out the wind spirit things is a good setup. Don't want to get too many levels. If anything, I should be getting levels off the boss chests. But those are risks I do not have to take either. Look at how durable them candelabra's doors are. 
Well, not that I would have succeeded in the end, but I totally had one round fall due to the trickster exploding candelabra door gems showing up. Just shoving it in the face. Even when I had like five Oro Logans back to back, I didn't have the damage output to get through the final waves with this. Mostly because it would just not give me the dang amount on the dang millionaire. And when I had spinach over it, over Bracer, I couldn't involve millionaire, so I had flash arrow, which did have it, but it did less damage base. Anyway. So like multiple amounts for flash arrow to get to the damage of one amount millionaire. All on prototype A. At least I'm getting some good pierce immediately. Yep, that figures. So many levels wasted. Any level is wasted. Every level is precious here. Alrighty. Oh, there was a chest there. Probably not going to evolve, though. Oh, there's the speed maxed out. And the controller is still doing that thing where it randomly just tells me to go up. Even when I'm holding the joystick down, which makes even less sense. I'm just so tired. I woke up early to try and get this out, to try and get ahead of the schedule again after Stanley messed me up. But, nope. Been nothing but failure and failure and failure for hours and hours across multiple days now. Trying to get this done. Oh, Melissa. Yay, millionaire. Okay, no chance it's only... I mean... There is a chance. Do not get that Oral Logan. One crit chance. Two crit chance. And I got the Oral Logan. I really should have saved for later. Wondrous. Three crit chance. No Molison to save me at the end either. No Molison at all till now. I'm just really tired and sour after everything. I'm listening to the playbacks of the audio and all the continuous issues. And my constantly terrible voice. Oh, and the fact that I haven't slept in a couple days doesn't help either. Sure, I was consistently doing this schedule for over a week now, but hey, I could suddenly just not sleep at all. So I'm going to sleep in like two minutes like I was. Well, Iron Blue Will's first, so you get in over Sign Old Sanctuary. And Sign Old Sanctuary will be the last one, because, well, it's Sign Old Sanctuary. Yay, one amount. I'm already equal to the other runs on damage there. No, I should get Might on Prototype. It's doing more than the others. It's doing more than the others. Wow, now it's got two amount. That's more than the past two runs put together. Or that's equal to the past two runs put together. Nope. Here I am clapping. Maybe you can't hear it. But I'm still moving up. As for no reason, it's decided to just do that. Amount. Ooh, that's 
Prototype's actually been doing more damage in the mount in the end screens for the previous ones. So that's why I selected it. And without inverse, they have no health. Who knows if I'll be able to win at the end, though. Who knows? Well, if you're listening to this, obviously, you know. What a terrible setup. Huh, why do the flash arrows look so big all of a sudden? Er, yeah, the flash arrows. Right, I don't have Sign Old Sanctuary yet, so they're not getting that might bonus. Oh! Explosion wave! This is what killed me two runs ago. 26 minutes, wouldn't have survived much longer after it, but still. It would just not go down at all. Which means they're going to come back later, too. Direct me at the worst possible moment at 2940. Might eventually has a much better carrying capacity. I believe I lost track of the amount or the crit chance here. Also, them being weaker as a whole isn't helping with showing off the damage numbers because they're not surviving as long. Here was a 300. Was that an 800? Pretty high considering I don't have some old Sanctuary's boost yet. Area. I think it was a 500, 600 there. Hard to tell. Because the game. Oh well. Yep, you're making me go up. For no reason. Amount one, yeah. That's now more amount than I have in the past two runs. Now it's double the amount. Now it's gonna go completely off the chain. I don't know if we can actually hit anything. Well, later waves it will definitely hit things. Yep, there's thousands of damage right there. One more mount. One more mount. I oh, shouldn't have breached the chicken fort. But well, without inverse, they're not healthy enough to really be threatening. All right, almost time for the next Arcana chest. And then my power will effectively be maximized outside some more amounts on Flash... Millionaire. Millionaire, not Flash Arrow. Wait. Flash Millionaire. Dun dun dun. Sure it'd be nice not to move up. No oh, man, if this continues... This continues into Elden Ring, it's going to be very, very bad for me. And it will. I mean, it has been showing up in Unicorn Overlord, but then again, it's not like... Hmm. Well, Overlord, it's not like I'm doing much map movement at the moment. Just doing arena reps. Oh, that's five amount. Over double. With that level of power actually taking out, inverse would have been feasible. Alright, Arcana's gonna show up soon. <sighs> it's 
Tired, tired, tired. Wanted the Arcana early, that's why I kept just banging my head against the wall. Shouldn't have done that. Let's, you know, look at how easily it's being cleared through right now. Imagine if things actually got in. It would be so scary and dangerous. Oh, there's my Arcana. Yep. Yeah, things are gonna go crazy high. Amount. Amount. Yeah, now it's triple what I had combined. Dang it, it's hard to actually tell the numbers. Okay. I think it, the regular stuff is killing it before the flash arrow can. I think I saw some 2000s. Yeah, there was a 1950 there. What is going on with this? Gotta be some sort of internal issue. I Maybe mean, I could just go buy another controller. It's not that hard. Just take up a lot of time. Well, no, I can just order. I don't want to pay the delivery fee. And what's more valuable? The half hour it would take to go there, or the $67 it would take as a delivery fee. Well, time is money. Money is time. And time is a flat circle. All things as they were. But God, without inverse, everything is pathetic. I should be doing non inverse more. And yet, I want that delicious first arcana off the merchant. Oh, and in case you were wondering, the reason that my money is so high is because Bill failed so much I ran out of cash to actually purchase the Arcana, so I had to go do gold farming with Sammy for all no, of two minutes to get that. He reached level 1000. In two minutes. There's another 50 eggs. 50 eggs of pure power. Yep, there's a... Oh, that's a Rochi. Yeah, he isn't gonna stand a chance. Yeah, incidental damage is taking out the things on my side. Rochi doesn't stand a chance. In fact, he's already dead. Yep. Never... I could barely see a Rochi. Now I tore him apart without even noticing. That means I can just rain them always and win. At this point. Got some chicken back. Oh, I was hoping to beat it on inverse, but at this point I'll take any win I can get while still trying to be under the stipulations of the third wave, which, well, really it is. Just really soured out at the moment. No sleep, no success, only failure. Only failure. And I just keep walking the line. Like I said, failure. My winning streak in Unicorn Overlord was once again trashed by sheer luck. A 5% chance that glitched out. The game didn't do something correctly, so I lost my winning streak and I got frustrated and then lost and lost and lost again. An endless tale of woe and losing. But I got one win back, yay! 
here I am ranting about other games again. Well, to you, the five of you still watching, thanks for that. I hope you have a good day, even before. Man, I would not have survived the final only wave at all on inverse. Telling that even 2,000 damage hits, they can still get on screen this heavily and actually hit me. I was millionaire coming around on the end because of all the amount. Of course, if it had hardier foes, it would have been better. But there it is. And Thousand Edge was there. Okay, and with Mount Moonspell taken care of, Bill will be heading over to the tiny bridge. Enemies grow stronger over time, 20 minutes long. I'm not risking inverse with that. Alright, same strategy. Plow through with Heart of Fire till I can upgrade stuff better. Well, that's just at that point. See you better. But I don't have Silent Old Sanctuary. There's no reason not to grab the weapons ASAP. And because it's all just a straight line, that means Flash Arrow is going to get to do so much. Yay, Flash Arrow. Oh, wait, you can go that far down the railing. Also, the controller could mess up that badly and send me into the top. Oh boy, yeah, I should really just go get a new controller. You've got many new controllers. That way I have backups on the back end. Yay, backups. Doesn't everyone love a backup? Uh oh, spaghettios. It, it keeps getting knocked away by other things, so I can't actually hit it with Flash Arrow. There we go. Little can compare to that raw damage. Very little, especially as a base weapon. No, I didn't even check to see how much Heart of Fire did. Oh yeah, I think the Heart of Fire explosion damage gets coupled into the weapon itself. And the heart of the fire you see on the end screen, it's tagged as the retaliation damage. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Because some of those numbers, you know, even if it's six, there's no way at the end of the end of the run that you're only getting like six per screen per second. Nah, it doesn't make sense, even with hurry messing up with the numbers a bit. No, I think it's just only for the retaliation damage. I should test that. In fact, just to confirm it. Man, now I'm going to be constantly weary about running in. And their sheer numbers means I can't actually flash arrow these swords that well. We keep getting pushed out. Oh, no. Evolutions here are not going to exist. Oh. Well, it doesn't help that I didn't have anything evolution available. Yeah, I mean, look at the damage though. Just look at the difference it's doing here. If I didn't have that, they would just be still pushing in endlessly with no trouble. But now they're getting pushed back to the end of the screen with just this little bit of bullets. And sure, it's not on inverse, so they're not as healthy as they could be, but still. This isn't even remotely as fast as it can go. In all the ways that counts. Oh, there's Arcana Sword. A merchant. Couple flash arrows to the face should take care of you. And get me my delicious, delicious Sun Old Sanctuary. Yeah, look, at them bolts fire out. They don't stand a chance. Right, there's all the weapons maxed out. 
Now just Torona's it, and then standing still for a while. Brain that the dang Starburst doesn't happen. Somehow I avoided that. And now I need to avoid all this. Whoa. Okay. Man, they're very fast on the back end, huh? Great. Ten minutes on a twenty-minute stage. Should probably switch those. Number dues like they do with the Arcana setup. And now I am wasting my time. I mean, it doesn't matter. I just mash A. And I can't even stay still. Maybe I actually should have gone the uh, iron blue wheel so that way they bounce behind me. Man, terrible. Stop it. Stop it, joystick. Er gone. Er gone. Man, I have so much to do. I'm like 80% way through making my schedule for the week, having an actual schedule posted up, having a template to set it up. And yet, just because of sheer nonsense, I couldn't get it done. Well, granted, my schedule has been pretty consistent for a while, so... Hey, but otherwise... Well, else would you know that I'm going to be playing Shadow of the Earth Tree all day when it launches on this Friday? Woo! I mean, I hope it launches at midnight so that way I can actually play when I wake up. Hey, look, an evolution. That's so helpful. Maybe you'll get in through this. Yes. So I still have to fire. Oh god, they're so slow without... Wait, no, they should be this slow anyway. Inverse doesn't increase their speed. It just increases... their other stuff. Okay, now we just get Iron Blue Will, and that means Flash Arrow will start bouncing like a fiend. Also, will everything else, but Flash Arrow is really the one here that matters. Yeah, that, that figures. Yeah, but bouncing back and forth like that, there'll be no trouble actually keeping my rear guard secure. Alright, a mere four-ish minutes left to go. No, if this actually can't do anything. Right, I am secure from both sides. Secure from the left from the prototype A blasting. Secure from the right from the flash arrow bouncing. And the top and bottom are covered by the drones from prototype A. And Thousand Edge or Knife is here. Give a hand for a knife, everyone. It's here. Now if they had two knives. Now well, that 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 would be a completely different story. We don't. We just have one. Oh, both of them in one chest. Nice. Alright, and just thread the needle. Or walk slowly outside of the needle. Yeah, that makes more sense. But it's totally a correct thing to say. Yeah, did I have the mic set up wrong again? No, I mean the audio settings are fine, but maybe the direction was just not great. It can be so hard to tell. It's even when I was so muted for so long, it was still showing up on OBS perfectly fine. Then on the headphones, it was also fine. It was only when I was coming out of the TV that it sounded so dang muffled. Directional inputs, yo. Well, this whole thing was so dang slapdash, and I have not had a single moment to just 
rest on the laurels and actually do anything. You would have the, the luxury of not working. Oh, wow. The bats are getting in way closer than they should. Okay, moving right endlessly, I guess. So close, so far. Why are you hurting me? How are you hurting me? You should not be getting in at all. Good grief. Good grief. <laughs> what an absurd situation we're finding ourselves in. Oh, Melissa, nice. I mean, not a lot of gold is dropping, so the millionaire arrow rain just isn't spawning in as it should. Well, I guess it's arrowhead rain because there's no shaft. No, no, no. Okay, so it's an arrow surrounded by some sort of golden, pale gold yellow effect. Alright, it's kind of hard to see because it's on screen for like one frame. Is it one frame? I, I don't know what frames really do. I can't really tell the difference between 30 or 60 FPS. Always struck me as such a spoiled thing to care about. Like I tried to do the Starship Tours Exterminations in 60 because, you know, people want that. They like that. I don't really see it myself. But then, you know, the game is very poorly optimized. Wow, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Yep. What was that, a chicken or cockatrice boss? No, the only bosses here are the swords and scrojoni. Hey, a barrier. No, they just keep getting in on the sides. They can't just sit in tornado. As the dang starburst. Oh, come on. Don't kill me. Oh, I'm so tired of losing. Let's get up on that horse and continue to lose. Messing around is just nomenclature for failure. Oh. Yeah, now you give me a chicken surprise. And Vampire Survivors Operation Guns finally reaches its conclusion for now as Bill Riser has a nice easy time on the Moon Glow. Nothing could possibly go wrong on Moon Glow. It's Moon Glow. You have to try to die here. Man, why do I keep doing that? Every time I get on camera, it's nonstop hiccups, yawning, burps. Yeah, it's just crazy. What was my other one? Racer, yeah. <laughs> See? Like five minutes between recording this one and the last one, not a single thing popped up. As soon as I get on camera, nonstop this. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous with nothing to think about. Just like, what does speaking from the Tommy even mean? Like, I'm looking into things to try to make my voice less nasally. And yet, a bunch of things are like, ooh, close your soft palate and like, how? You want me to like. Hmm. And that will magically change my body physiology. Wait, no, I didn't do it right. It was like... Mm -hmm. Hum while you're breathing out through your nose and that will magically change how your voice sounds. Or yawn. That will do it too. It's just like... 
Well, I wish any of these worked on me, but I mean, nothing works on me. Oh, wow, well, the jellyfish are actually hardy. And you don't have any actual might to back up your stuff. Well, I'll get more might as I level. Yay, levels. Brown would be a good idea for a less themed run. There's Torona's box finally. You know, more levels. It doesn't say there's a might cap. It keeps going up indefinitely. It just says there's, there's a projectile speed cap. No, I didn't check Heart of Fire's damage again. Well, not that really matters at this point. Well, it will be if I go on... I think actually it's just Arca, isn't it? How many even base weapons had Heart of Fire at that point before Operation Guns showed up? It was Fire Wand... Prismatic Missile. God, is that literally it? Can't be. Can't be just those. Oh, right. Uh, was Red Muscle. Red Muscle 2. But that right Gemini. Jeez. Oh, right. I should just focus on taking out Crab Battle here. Yeah, nothing really survives that many Flash Arrows to the face. I mean, the upfront DPS is very high if it can land. It's just it doesn't have the ability to... You have to stay still to do it. And I can't stay still because the dang controller keeps pushing me north. No, well, I did want to buy a new controller for other thing. What could it possibly be? This would be a good excuse as any to go out and grab some. And what's today? Sunday? Hmm, not the best day to do it. I mean, well, yeah, I actually clear it out, get tomorrow's video, Monday's video up as well. All right, crab battle. Get Monday's videos set up, recorded, get that Bazwick set. Try, try to get some sort of backlog going before Shadow of Tree comes out so I don't have to record it same day. I guess that's what I'm waiting on, really. It takes deceptively long to make these when you're going three levels at a time and constantly failing. I should just basically turn down the difficulty as low as I can. I should turn off Hyper. That will clearly fix things. Turn off Charm. Turn off Curse. We're going easy baby mode. Now. Goo goo gaga. Goo goo gaga. I miss Queen. Do you miss Queen? Everyone misses Freddy, but they don't miss Queen. I will say I miss... Queen. Radio Goo Goo. Radio Gaga. Why can't I remember the smell lyrics to that? Well, I suppose that's just the age. It's not like I've listened to their songs all that often recently. Or this year, or last year, or even the year before that. Bye-bye, Torona's box. I'll just random... Well, oh, I hit random once. That was not what I wanted to do. I should probably talk more about the game, but... Kind of... Well, I'm winning. There's not much they can do against me. And when it's not... Constantly bottlenecking stuff. You just go your commentary in weird random directions to yap 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 yap. Strangely, when I stream, I yap less. Oh man, Shadows of the Earth tree streams are gonna be weird just because my character is a skillless degenerate. If you view it, you'll see what I mean because that's not. Yeah, don't expect someone who's let me soloing millennia here. 
this is use every cheap trick possible to beat them up. Mimic tier? Ha! Huh. What I did was dumber. Well, I still use Mimic tier. I think it was after it nerfed Mimic tier too. Man, I don't want to go fight Moog again. I don't want to fight any of the bosses there. I didn't really like Elden Ring's bosses. You know, Ornstein and Smoke, I tell you. Now, that was a boss. There's a reason they list basically the top of every bloody list, and it's because they're good. Still think Dark Souls 1 is the best. Oh, crap. How did that happen? Oh, I ran into the boss variant. Yeah, let's just take care of you so I don't have to deal with that. I don't care about my power, so I'm just getting awake so I can be done with this. Yeah, now that's what we need. We need some Dark Souls, Vampire Survivors crossover. Make it happen, Bongle. Playable Chosen Undead. Wow. Playable Ashen One. How will they differ? How will you even have them mark? I mean, heck, what will even have the list you do? I mean, you gotta have... Well, no. I mean, they are enemies. I mean, Colonel Bahamut's also an enemy, and you can play him here. So is... Well, I mean, Mask of the Red Death isn't really the Reaper. Yeah, sure, give me all the weapons well after I would need them. Well, it's Moonglow. The fact that I died is surprising enough. You know what? Oh, yeah, that, that just, that just figures. Why would you not show up, Stalker? Though I swear... He got changed. He's not remotely as janky as he used to be. Well, as it used to be. I was rereading the Ars Gouda, and while well, the original Reaper is a he, the rest of them are they's or it's. I'm gonna go with it, because I hate him. I hate it. I hate it so. Oh, hey, Mini Atlanteans. And Double Stalker. Why well, wouldn't it be Double Stalker? Life is nothing but double stalker, is it not? Can't stop for even a moment. Aha! Die, both of you. <laughs> Revenge! Revenge of the Sith! You know, well, this ends, so no talking about Star Wars now. Except as a collab. And on the back of excruciating agony, Bill has taken down Mount Moonspell, but he had to drop to dang regular non-inverse to do it. Just couldn't pump out the damage, but that's also Tiny Bridge and Moonglow down. That's 309 down on the Beswick. And the last of the Operation Guns characters done for quite a while. Next up, we're going to be heading back up to wherever the correct situation is and doing that. I don't know what it is, but it'll be done. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day, and if you do, please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. I appreciate everyone who does. Keep messing around in Vampire Survivors, Beswick. Same time tomorrow, 